Hello, this is Lourdes Johnson, and this video I prepared is one part of Competency K from an MLIS ePortfolio. I am introducing a walkthrough of Artifact 2. It is a guide on the side instructional tutorial from the Info 254 Information Literacy and Learning Theories class. The design of the guide on the side tutorial is a collaborative project between two students. For this project, our audience is high school students, and the library resource we selected is the Gale's Opposing Viewpoints in Context Database. And let me tell you about the guide on the site software. It is an open source um, technology developed by librarians from the University of Arizona. It is a widely used uh, technology by librarians because they can easily and quickly design online and interactive material that supports active learning. For example, the student follows a series of prompts and sequences in real time while learning how to search on the actual database. Another major advantage of this software is that instructors can do formative and summative assessments throughout the tutorial. I provide an overview of what the interface feels like for the user the teaching strategies and instructional methods that we use to prepare this tutorial. There is a broader menu at the upper right corner of a guide, so users can see the content of the tutorial. We use a variety of visual clues to facilitate temporal and spatial continuity and prevent cognitive overload. We follow universal design and multimedia learning principles, suggested by Leader, Chodok, and et al., and Templeman included. In order to follow the tutorial, the user must log in to the school library's website to connect with the Gales database. The learning outcomes meet AASL, ACRL, and Common Core standards. And these are articulated at the beginning of the tutorial, as suggested by Char Booth. We are showing the students three ways to discover information. Then we proceed to the advanced tools menu. We're showing <clears throat> the student how to download, save, print, highlight articles, and take notes. According to Rees, articulating what the student learned before moving to the next module facilitates cognitive transfer. We then proceed to explain the options for using the citations tools. Then we have an opportunity to do summative assessments. We're, we're asking the student to extract a citation in an MLA format and paste it into a bibliography section of the, the student essay. We're also testing the student about the correct way to do an MLA citation. Then again, we are facilitating cognitive transfer before moving to the final module. We are demonstrating the options for saving and downloading articles individually or in one batch operation. Another summative assessment is done at the end of the tutorial where we're asking the student, what are the options available with the database, the OVC, the Opposing Viewpoint in Context database? After completing our assignment, we wrote a reflection paper about our collaborative process. Our main goals were to inform students of the different ways they can search or browse for resources and the various useful tools that the database has to offer. We realized that our tutorial was too comprehensive and we received input from our peers that it needed to be divided into three tutorials, one for each goal, so we don't overload our students. So it's important to practice with a new software and keep a backup of what you're working. There were instances where we lost our work. So the Google document became our security copy. Keep testing and seek input from peers, especially if this is your first time doing instruction or delivering with a new technology. 
So that is a tour of Artifact 2, the Guide on the Side tutorial. I prepared uh, supporting evidence for competence K of my ePortfolio. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this presentation.